Scenario, a vinyl records with a radius of 0 0.5 meters with a rotational inertia of 2.0 kilograms per meter squared spins on an axle with an initial angular speed of 5 rads per second. Friction in the axle exerts a torque on the wheel causing it to stop after 10 seconds. Question, calculate the angular acceleration on the vinyl record as it spins. So the approach for this is going to be using the kinematics equation for a rotating object. The kinematics we're going to use is this one, which is the linear equation, which is the angular velocity is equal to the angular velocity initial plus the angular acceleration times time. We can now solve for the angular acceleration. So let's subtract the initial angular velocity to the other side and then divide by time. Here, this should remind you of the delta change in angular velocity divided by the change in the time, w minus w naught over t. We can now plug in the values. The, the final was 0. The initial was 5. Okay. The angular acceleration is negative 0 0.5 rads per second squared. It's negative because, remember, the object slowed down. So that's why it's negative. The angular acceleration indicates that the object was slowing down. The last question, what is the average torque exerted on the vinyl record that caused it to stop? The approach here is there are two equations for the torque. This, the one that we're using is going to have the rotational inertia and the angular acceleration. So the summation of the torque is equal to I times the angular acceleration. Plug in the values, make sure it's a negative when you plug in the angular acceleration, giving you a value of 1.0 Newton per meter. The reason why there's no negative there is because I just wrote it out the words. It's 1.0 Newton meter in the opposite direction of the angular acceleration. The negative just indicates that it's in the opposite direction, causing it to slow down. There you go. That is the torque. Notice that there has to be a torque in this problem that causes it to slow down. The torque here comes from the angular acceleration. The angular acceleration can be calculated using your kinematics equation.